Hey YouTube, it's Glenn here from BJ's Bootables again. We're back with some more model making. Um, we did some paint work on there, so I've just done that in an undercoat. And we're gonna do some more work on just doing that in black today. But just quickly, I thought we'd go over what the case was again. It's this Cooler Master Elite 130. Um, so that's going to be the top panel. And meet up somewhere on there. So we'll start working on the side soon. And maybe today, I think I'm going to take a slightly different approach uh, with the side um, and get a little bit cleaner, hopefully. But once, it, once that came out pretty well with the um, undercoat on it, so it's starting to look pretty cool. And I think when I do it all in the black, more will come out. And once I like clean up all the clean up little end bits and stuff that are still got out, uh, um, just got sticking out there, and um, that's going to work really cool for the top. I got asked a question about the case, um, I thought I'd just answer it. Um, it's only got two expansion slots, um, so it can't take a lot of the new 2080 cards, the TIs that are three slot. There are some that are two slot, depending on exactly like where the sort of the blower came around on the side, you might be able to mod like the panel, bring it through. And some of the, the cooling solutions would look really cool just sticking out the side with their RGB and stuff. Um, you, but depending on how much you have to take here, you could probably take a little bit out of that. Like as long as you only took off the flat, you wouldn't want to um, have to like, take that off that starts getting structural but you could take a bit out of there um, like from there down um, and hopefully you wouldn't want to take any off the bottom because the case kind of clips in there or doesn't clip in it bolts at the back but um, the railing sort of structural um, but you could certainly like do something with the fatter cards but there are um, some um, 2080 TIs that are too slot there's a blower one which you know aren't ideal most of the time but in a small case like this if you really were going to go that that route with the 2080 um ti you might need to on this one um just because it is small you can fit a lot in here it can take massive graphics cards like that way um but they have to be two slots so um thin and long is fine but that's just the case and we're going to get on with some painting. So we're going to start off with sort of a black and undercoat mix and just getting some more layer on there. And we'll probably put a little bit of exhaust manifold through it to start giving some sheen. And that will probably be that.
So we'll leave that bit there to dry for a bit. And then... We won't mess with that for now. We'll let that do its thing. And then we'll try and shine back to some of those bits. And bring it back out in a few spots with some green highlights if we can get right back down. But some of the little SMDs and things we'll try and sort back out too. So we'll leave that to dry and I'm doing for a minute, I think. We'll come back. So while that one's drying off, um, I'm gonna give this one a little bit of an undercoat. Um, I wanna build this one a little bit differently because I got the cool chips. I wanna keep them a little bit more prevalent. So we'll mask them off quickly. And so we'll just keep those and we'll undercoat the rest of this. Well, we got the paint going. So that will do for the undercoat there. Um, and it's a little compressive, it's smelling really friggin' hot. So we'll give it a break. But now we've got the undercoat on that one. Alright, so while well, that one's sort of chilling and drying, we'll start adding some little bits to this one. <laughs> so I think we'll work with these bits for now. And um, yeah, this, uh, this one's going to be a little bit more sedate. This is on the side. It's going to be the left-hand side where this all cuts out is all for the vents in the back. So we'll go on that and I'll still have as much venting as possible for airflow. Um, so we're just going to do more of the little stuff on here. The top was sort of the damaged you know, exposed part and the sides will do it. Sides and front will be a bit cleaner and just a little bit more um, using that scale with these bits and some of this stuff.
And I think we'll leave that there. We've got a couple little bits left. I think I'm feeling like that's a good stopping point to come back to. And it's starting to get damn warm here. So we'll take a break. And really happy with that. I think that looks pretty cool. So. That put a lot of scale detail on there, I think. And once I give that another bit of paint. So I think that should come out really good. Uh, when it gets dry and some paint and then we can put a couple of thicker bits build it up just a touch more as I said gonna keep the sides a little bit flatter need to be able to move it around a little bit when it is a PC as well as just keeping yeah that scale and letting the top be a bit of the sort of damaged getting rebuilt Part. and so that's cool we'll leave that there for today and hit that sub button watch me other vids and have a good one